Welcome to our lecture online. Our next problem is a logarithmic problem. We're trying to find the arc length of it and the solution is rather unique. So what do we mean by that? Well we have f of x equals the natural log of the quantity x plus the square root of x squared minus 1 or we can write it like this y equals the natural log of the quantity x plus the square root of x squared minus 1 and we're going to write that function as a function of x equals a function of y. To do that, we need to take the analog of both sides. So we can write this as e to the y is equal to e to the natural log of x plus the square root of x squared minus 1. And of course, on the left side, you still end up with e to the y, but on the right side, this negates the natural log function, end up with x plus the square root of x squared minus 1. Now the next step is to get rid of the radical. So we move the x to this side. We have e to the y minus x equals the square root of x squared minus 1. And now when we square both sides, on the left side we get e to the 2y minus 2x e to the y plus x squared is equal to x squared minus 1. Then of course the x squares cancel out, so get rid of those. And now we want to isolate the x. So this can be written as e to the 2y plus 1 equals 2x e to the y. And then we divide both sides by e 2 e to the y. So we have e to the 2y plus 1 divided by 2 e to the y equals x. And then if we divide e to the y into the numerator, we get e to the y plus e to the negative y. That's an e divided by 2 equals x. And now you can see we have x as a function of y. Now this can be then written as f of y. So that makes it a little bit clearer. And then what we need to do, of course, we're going to need to find the arc length. We need to rewrite this equation. So L is going to be equal to the integral from c to d. Now notice these were x limits, so we're going to need y limits of the square root of 1 plus f prime of y squared times dy. So that means we need to take the derivative of that. So we have f prime of y is equal to e to the y minus e to the minus y divided by 2. And then to find the y limits, so these are your x limits, x1, x2, then we need to find the corresponding y limits. So when we plug in, 1 for x, we get 1 minus 1, which is 0, so with the natural log of 1, which is 0, so our first y limit is 0. Then we plug in the square root of 2, we get 2 minus 1, that's 1, square root of 1 is 1, so here we have the natural log of the square root of 2 plus 1. There we go, make sure we have that right, so plug that in, 2 minus 1, yes, plus 1. So now we have our y limits, c and d are going to be 0 in the natural log of the square root of 2 plus 1. So now what we need to do is take this, square it, and plug it in here. So that means l is equal to the integral from c to d times the square root of 1 plus, when we square that we get 1 quarter times e to the 2y, multiply you get minus 1 times 2 minus 2, and then plus e to the minus 2y times dy. And of course we recognize that if we looked at the previous video, we then know the trick. So we're going to add these two together. A quarter times this is minus 1 half, plus 1 makes that into plus 1 half. And so we can write L is equal to the integral from c to d, the square root of 1 quarter times e to the 2y plus 2 plus e to the minus 2y times dy. So simply 1 quarter times minus 2 is a minus 1 half, plus 1 gives you plus 1 half, then factor out of 1 quarter again gives you a plus 2 there instead of minus 2, and then again we can write this as the square of a binomial like that, so L is equal to factor out of 1 fourth, that would be 1 half times integral from C to D times the square root of e to the y plus e to the minus y quantity squared. So notice the 
one half is gone, that's in the front now, and then we are left with e to the y plus e to the minus y. This becomes a plus because we add the one to the minus one half there. Of course, can't forget the dy, and now the square root negates the square, and we end up with L is equal to one half times the integral of e to the y plus e to the minus y dy. And now the, the limits are going to go from zero to the natural log of the square root of two plus one, like that. Now that's easy to integrate. So now we end up with L is equal to one half times e to the y minus e to the minus y evaluated from zero to the natural log of the square root of two plus one. All right, so let's come up here. And so the arc length is equal to, now when we plug in the upper limit, instead of y, we end up natural log, e to the natural log, of course, that negates, we end up with the square root of two plus one. So we have the square root of two plus one, when we plug in the upper limit, minus e to the minus, so that would be e to the minus, again, that would be e to the minus y, or one over that. So let's see here, gotta be careful with the signs. So we have the minus, plug that in here. We have e to the minus that, that negates, but we have one over that. Ooh, that's kind of a mind twister, isn't it? Let's write it like this. I'm gonna write this like this. So this is equal to one half times e to the y minus one over e to the y from zero to the natural log of the square root of two plus one. Like that, because then you can see that when you plug in the upper limit, oh, and then I've also noticed that I still need my one half, L equals one half times e to the natural log, that gives you square root of two plus one, minus one over that one over square root of two plus one. That's much better. Then we we'll plug in the lower limit, of course, we get minus e to the zero, that is one, and minus e to the zero, again, that would be minus one. And then here you see that one minus one, that cancels out. All right, so what do we have left? L is equal to one half times I'm going to put that over a common denominator, see what we get. All right, so we have the square root of two plus one times the square root of two plus one minus one divided by the square root of two plus one. I'm not sure if that's going to make things easier, but we'll find out. L is equal to one half times, that gives me two plus two times the square root of two plus one minus one, all over the square root of two plus one. Hey, we may be getting somewhere, because one minus one cancels out, that's a plus, so one minus one cancels out, and um, factor out of two, that works, so L is equal to two over two times one plus the square root of two divided by one plus the square root of two. Wow, so the length equals one. <laughs> a very simple solution to a very interesting and complex problem. But notice, by making the transition from this function like this to the function like this, it made the whole problem a whole lot easier to solve. And we got the right answer. That is how it's done. Well, it takes a little bit more work, but it's the easy integrals. I always like it when the integrals are easy to do. You sure that's the integral that's harder? You want to find out? <laughs> I think you get the same answer. All right, I'll take a look at it, see if we make a video on it or not. <laughs>